Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth part in the making a doors type game series. Today what we're going to be learning how to make is very basic um, furniture implementation. So what we are going to add today is a chair model in, uh, in throughout our rooms and a um, shelf throughout our uh, rooms. So what we're going to be needing to do to set this up is, well first of all, these uh these two models will be linked in the description, um, in a in a model that you can download and import into your studio. When making models, I'm gonna say this. Um, also, one other thing I want to go through. A lot of you guys had trouble setting up the models, so let me just go ahead and show you how to actually set it up. So hold up, let me delete all this stuff. Let me delete this. Let me delete this. Let me delete this. So let's say you're starting out with a brand new studio. This is what you're gonna do to set it up. You're gonna go ahead and insert the actual model into your studio. You have it here. Ungroup it. You can delete README. You're gonna keep generated rooms. So look, this is what, I'll tell you what to put, where to put uh, stuff first. So put possible hallways, that folder inside of replicated storage. Put the door model inside of replicated storage, and you can keep everything else inside of the um, workspace. So hit when you hit run, it should automatically just start generating for you. Um, and there should be no issues. So, um, yeah, just wanted to get that out of the way first because I've seen a lot of people with issues on generating um, and getting this model to work. But basically, back to the uh, point of today's episode. Today, what we're going to be doing is implementing furniture into our rooms. So, what we're going to be needing when we make um, these... Uh, models is when you are making a new model you're going to need a primary part so make sure that this primary part stays consistent throughout pretty much all your models so um as you can see here in the shelf we have a primary part it's the same height and width two by two as the one in the chair the reason for this is because what we're going to be doing is we are going to be um taking this and we're going to be putting it throughout rooms and this will serve as like a template for our furniture when we want to furnish our rooms so just make sure and also make sure that you're building um into the front of it so if we go ahead and insert a decal you can see that the front of it is facing this way so if you're building make sure that all your stuff that you're building is facing the front of it make sure it's not facing the back um, if we go ahead and insert a uh, decal into here as you can see it's in the it's facing the way that uh, the front of the primary part is. So I'll just ru run through making a new model. So when you are making a new model, let's just say I had like this um, this this weird pillar thing that I want to add, right? Like like a statue type thing, right? Make sure all of it's anchored. Um, and you can just go ahead and do like this. And let's say I was making this, right? Make sure it's anchored. Make sure both of them are anchored. Then what you're gonna go ahead and do is group them, give it a name just so you, you name it like pillar, and then set the primary of part of the model to the primary uh, block, which is in these two. They're both named uh, primary, the blocks. So that's basically how you set up new models. Um, yeah, just make sure that you have the primary part and make sure that you're not like, like you see here, Make sure you're not going below the actual primary part because it will get like buggy. So yeah, just build around the primary part. Now let's get into the actual um, the actual thing. So what we could do is let's insert a short hallway. What we're going to do is we're going to insert a new folder inside of the hallway and we're going to be naming this furniture. Then we can go ahead and insert two more folders. One of them will be called templates. And then the other one will be called models. So what we're going to be to what we are going to be doing is we're going to grab go ahead and grab our primary part right here. And we can rename this to template. Make sure that you know where the front is. So it's right here. So 
you can go ahead and drag this over here if you want. It'll make it easier to like make it somewhat visible like that. And uh, that should be good. And so now we can just place these wherever we would want furniture to be set up. So we can maybe put one like right here and then we can maybe put one here. And then maybe another one here. Again, you guys can put these wherever you would like, wherever you want to spawn furniture. Maybe you want one right there. Maybe you want one here. Again, make sure that it's facing that. And then when you're done with setting up where you want your furniture to be, I'm just gonna go ahead and put one here. When you're done with setting up where you want the furniture to be, what you're going to do is you're going to grab all of these so you can just select them by holding shift and then clicking on them and put them all inside of the templates of the uh the short hallway so now if you cut this it should remove all of the templates with it so yeah make sure that all the templates are inside of the template folder inside of the furniture folder inside of the whatever um hallway or turn it is we're not going to mess around with the models folder because that's what we're going to be putting all of the models that we get into into uh, when we generate them. So you can go ahead and put short hallway back into possible hallways. Then inside of replicate storage, we're going to go ahead and make another folder called possible furniture. We could take both the chair and the big shelf and put it inside of possible furniture. Then let's go into our generation script. So when we have when what we're gonna be editing is the um let me think. Hmm. We can edit inside of the generate room function. So what we will go ahead and say is we will make we'll enter enter below if plate then right here and we will basically check to see if there is a um furniture folder so we can go local furniture folder equals cloned room colon find first child furniture and then we can say if furniture folder then Um, then we can type, uh, then we can define the models and templates folder. So we can go local models equals furniture folder, colon, find for child models, local templates equals furniture folder, colon, find for child, uh, templates. So we're just checking to make sure both of those folders are actually inside of the furniture folder. I mean, both of those, uh, fo yeah, both of those folders are inside of the furniture folder. So once we do that, we can go ahead and, hmm. This is what we could do. We could go for I, V, or we could say for I template, in pairs templates colon get children do so basically what this is saying is we're saying for each um template inside of the templates folder this is what we're going to do for it we're going to get a random um uh furniture right now we only have two but obviously if we had more then it would it would have more variety variety but right now we only have two so what we could say is local um random furniture equals and i don't think we we didn't define the possible furniture. so we can go look oh we can scroll back up to the top and we can say local possible furniture equals replicated storage colon wait for child possible furniture then we could say is local random furniture equals possible furniture colon get children 
math dot random one colon number of possible furniture colon get children just like the same up here so what we're doing is we're just getting a random piece of furniture out of the possible furniture then what we will do is we will clone that furniture by saying local clone furniture equals random furniture clone clone then what we can say is we can say um, cloned furniture dot parent equals models then we can say cloned furniture on pivot to template make sure you're not saying oops hold up make sure you're not saying templates because that's the folder where what we want is the lowercase template or whatever you have uh, after the comma I the I comma that's what we were going for and so we'll go ahead and say template dot C frame so let's go ahead and hit publish and run this and see if it works so right now it should only work for the short hallways because but that's the only thing we have set up and as you can see we now have you know a furnished room pretty much and it's randomly generated so it's not gonna be the same every time if we go ahead and find so let's see so we have a chair shelf chair two shelves let's find another short hallway right here as you can see instead we have a shelf chair chair and a shelf and a shelf so it's 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 a uh, randomly generated what furniture will be inside of each room it's not gonna be the same for each one so let's say we wanted to add this to another um, let's say we want to add this to a uh, left turn right we have the left turn right here what we're gonna do we're going to insert the furniture folder inside of left turn and hold up we need to get all of the templates which are right here so we'll go ahead and delete all of them except for one so that's the front so we could put one right here We could put another one here, and we could put another one maybe here, and then here, and then maybe here, then another one here. Just wherever you would like to put them, pretty much. And then we will put the last one right here. So we'll go ahead and get all of these different templates. And we can take them and put them inside of the templates folder. So now we have that set up. We can put the left turn back inside of the possible hallways folder. And we can see if we have a left turn, it is now um, has some furniture in it as well as the short hallways so you could see uh we this one's furnished and then we go to the next room this one's furnished and then you know obviously the other ones don't have the folders inside of them but when we insert them and when we insert the templates inside of them they can get furnished as well so that's basically how you set up a basic furniture system for your doors game if you want a more um in-depth version of this a much more advanced one that can generate you know that can you know make a lot more advanced furniture and just basically uh it'll it just basically a more advanced system of doing it let me know in the comments because i would you know love to make a more advanced version of it um also by the way if you don't want i know that you can see like this red here if you want just get rid of the um not get rid of make the the templates transparent or actually you know what we could do this we'll do it inside of the code so we can go back into our generation script and we could say um in here we could say template hold up template oh my god come on there we go and we can say dot transparency 
equals oh my god my spelling right now transparency equals one so now every time we have a piece of furniture and we put it to one of the um primary parts it is no longer visible so you don't see that you know ugly transparent red block where your furniture is instead you just see the piece of furniture so that's pretty much how you make a basic furniture system for your doors game that is pretty easy to implement new pieces of furniture to all you have to do is make sure you're building with that primary part and and um and just group it and put it inside of this possible furniture folder and then you know it'll take care of itself because you, you have that whole system set up where in the generation code it'll run through the uh it'll find the furniture folder inside of the hallway then it will get the you know models and furniture folders and this basically this code basically runs it for you um you know taking the furniture and putting it where those primary parts those templates are and that's basically it and whatever you want to edit like like i said the transparency edit it right here you can just say template dot transparency equals one and yeah so that's basically how you make a basic furniture system for your doors game uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you have any suggestions of what you would like to see in the next one please leave them in the comments below if you have any questions or concerns leave them in the comments below uh, please like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next video.